Hello, my 3D scanner peeps. I'm here with the Creality Scan Otter Lite. We are going to boot up Creality Scan 4 and get the Scan Otter Lite set up and tested. Because we are hooking up the Scan Otter Lite to a PC, I don't need the Scan Bridge handle. I will use the Scan Otter Lite handheld as it is. That's why you'll notice I've attached the included wrist strap. This way, you won't drop and break your all new Scan Outer Light. Here on my Windows computer, the first thing we need to do is boot Creality Scan 4. You'll notice at this time, there's a notification about a disconnect issue with the Raptor. Go ahead and press ignore. On the next screen, you will notice Creality Scan has the ability to update from within the software. Go ahead and press OK. This will download and install that new update. In order to use the Scan Outer Light with Creality Scan 4 on a PC, you will need the included USB C cable. This one screws into the Scan Otter to be sure it's secure. On one side of the Scan Outer Light, you will see that port. Go ahead, plug it in, and screw in gently those two knobs. You probably heard the beep when I plugged that cable into the machine. That's your computer detecting the scanner. With the new version of Creality Scan installed, you will return to the opening splash screen. You can choose Don't Show Again or Ignore. The machine will now prompt you to update the firmware of the Scan Outer Light. This is a good indication that your computer and Creality Scan have detected your 3D scanner. Go ahead and press the OK button. The machine will send the update through the USB C cable to your Scan Outer Light. During the firmware update, you will hear the USB disconnect sound followed by the reconnect sound. That's your machine power cycling to the new firmware. Here on the screen, you can see your computer's performance update. My CPU, GPU, and memory are shown. And I'm very happy with the 50 frames per second and 30 frames per second showing on the screen. Go ahead and press the X button. And on this screen, go ahead and choose your scanner. We are working with the Scan Outer Light. You will notice here in the left, it's already detected that scanner. It says scanner connected, Creality Otter Light. Go ahead and press next. It's teaching us how to connect it. We've already done that. Go ahead and press next. It's teaching us how to do the wireless connection. We're not doing that today. Go ahead and press next. And there's a quick start guide on how to get started scanning something. This is super cool of Creality, but if you don't need to see this, you may skip it or choose don't show again and you'll never see it again. Let's go ahead and press next. Here is some information about the Scan Otter Light. Here is some more information. We will next ahead and enter the main screen of Creality Scan 4. Let's go ahead and run the scanner calibration. You will need the calibration card that came with your scanner. That calibration card looks like this. You will notice on the calibration card, it has a little identifier that says up. Go ahead and place the card on your desk with the up identifier facing up. Click into Calibrate. You will now be scanning this QR code, but now it's a phone with your scanner. Remember the part where I told you to face this up? I lied. Flip it over, scan the QR code. Hold the camera like this and scan the code. Now the screen will ask you to place it with up being up. Now it's time to follow the directions on the screen.
Just keep matching up your scanner as close as you can with the yellow bar on your screen. It'll keep moving because you're doing things right and it's time to move on to the next one. If you lose it, don't panic. Just wait, hover over the board, it'll come back. You can use the marker on the left side for placement and the marker on the right side for height and angle. With the calibration complete, you'll hear a ding and you'll be given a score. My score is 96.68. I suppose that's pretty good. Press OK. With our calibration done, our scan on our light is now connected, updated, and ready for scanning. Since we're here, let's go ahead and scan something just to see it work. I will press new project. The project name is going to be 3D Rundown Test Scan. Press OK. And here we have some options. Normal, face, body, large, medium, small, geometry, texture marker. I'm gonna scan this guy. Not much texture on him, not very shiny. So we will go with geometry. He's also rather small, so we will choose small. And I'm placing him on a flat base. The software has an option that says exclude flat base. That means when I scan the model, it will detect that base and remove it in the final result. You'll see that option right here. Once you press preview, you should see your item on the screen to your right, showing the color camera and the IR camera. Here on the screen, you'll see the infrared camera isn't seeing my model very well. I'm going to switch to manual right here on the right side of the screen and adjust these settings a little bit until the owl shows up more clearly. Once the owl shows up more clearly in black and white, I'll go ahead and press start. Now we will scan our model. What you are doing is looking for that bar on the left to go into the green zone. Once in that green zone, we'll move about and scan our model. I'm slowly going to move around and turn the owl. Turning is not enough. Be sure to actually move the camera as well. You want all the nooks and crannies that you can get. When you're happy with what you see, hold the play button. That will stop the scan. Here on the screen, you'll see my scan. Of course, without being distracted by speaking, talking to a camera, and working in a tight space, you'll do a much better result than I did. However, considering the way I just did this, I'm pretty darn pleased with the results here. Go ahead and click process. Since we're just playing around, I'm going to press one click process, press OK. That will do everything set by default. Processing is done and now it's making its final mesh and color mapping. And there you have it. We have scanned a 3D owl with our 3D scanner on a computer using CrealityScan 4. There are all sorts of other tools here in CrealityScan 4 to play with, but this is the basics of how to connect your scanner, update the firmware, calibrate it, and do your first scan. Of course, if you are looking to print your scanned model, you will need to do a much better job scanning, and then 
you'll have to do some post-processing to close up any holes or imperfections in order to prepare the model for a proper slicing and 3D print. Of course, if you are happy with this model, you can then go ahead and export it as an OBJ file and use that file to bring into a 3D program for post-processing or a slicer for 3D printing. Here is the owl in Bamboo Studio. You can see it obviously has a little bit of work to do. We can separate it by objects and delete all of this crap. It says the model's non-manifold. We can repair that right now. And look at that. We have ourselves an owl. I did crop off the legs and the base because the base didn't belong and the legs were a bit problematic. Having deleted them, done the manifold repair, we have a pretty cool looking owl for a two second scan live on camera. Let's place this model on the bed. Give it some supports and slice it. And there you go. If this isn't the owl, I just 3D scanned. Fantastic. And that, my friends, is how you use the scan on a light with a computer. And there we have it. We've gone from a physical object to a 3D model with the scan out our light and Creality Scan 4. And there you have it. We have 3D scanned a 3D printed owl with the Creality Scan Otter Light. Another time, we'll do this in more detail and we'll print the model too. I'm Mr. Greg, this is the Creality Scan Otter Light, and you are on 3D Rundown.